The winter storm spanning across the country is being blamed for at least two deaths in New Mexico and one other in Alabama. Several injuries have also been reported across the country, and power outages have left millions in the dark. If you are planning to travel by air, check your flight details. Over 3,500 flights have been canceled so far this morning. New COVID cases are down 37% across the country, so how much longer will restrictions last? Experts say case count isn't the only deciding factor. Hospitals are still full of COVID patients, and hundreds of thousands of Americans are unvaccinated. On the bright side, experts say we're on the right track, and guidance could start changing soon. The CDC is planning to use wastewater as their latest method to detect COVID hotspots. This technique has been used fairly often in the past, but the CDC is opening over 500 testing sites of their own. The CDC will publish results on their website. Testing will begin next week. The booze is almost back on Southwest Airlines flights. Airlines halted alcohol sales during the pandemic, but on February 16th, some flights will have beer, wine, and liquor for sale and more non-alcoholic drinks for free. Southwest says customers can use their 2020 and 2021 drink coupons through this year. U.S. oil prices jumped above $90 a barrel for the first time since 2014. Prices spiked in December when the country was experiencing low oil production due to the Omicron variant. OPEC says it will continue to increase oil production in hopes of lowering prices. But Wall Street says the organization could do more to calm surging prices. The USDA making changes to its school meal nutrition standards, reinstating health goals that were rolled back by the Trump administration. The Biden administration will require schools to offer low-fat or non-fat milks and limit foods that contain sugar. More whole grains are required, and the weekly sodium limit will see a 10% decrease over the next year. The 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics opening ceremony took place this morning. Competition has already been underway for several sports, but the opening ceremony marks the official start of the competition. More than 150 U.S. athletes are participating. Prepare to pay more money if you want to keep your Amazon Prime membership. The subscription price is going up 20 bucks, making it $139 a year. There's still a cheaper monthly version, but that will also go up by $2. Amazon says the increase is due to expanded services like Prime Video and same-day shipping. Bad news for chocolate lovers. Hershey says they are raising prices this year. The company says the increase is to offset the higher price of the ingredients and labor costs. Hershey says chocolate sales spiked during the pandemic. Retail sales for the company's top brands like Kit Kat and Reese's grew more than 12% last year. And that's today's 9 at 9.